Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl SEC. I am back and I am better than ever. And today I am back to do a whole nother freaking video for you guys today. So as you can see, I have some materials and some things in front of me because we are going to be trying to make something I've been trying to make for a very long time. And yeah, you're going to get into the video and see what we're doing. If you guys hear any noise, I do have my bedroom window open because I need some fresh air. And for some reason in this room, I echo a lot because it's not no furniture in here. And that just scared me. And I need some fresh air and having a window open doesn't make the room echo as much. Yeah, so let's get into this video. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. Like my video when you get done watching it. Comment at any time that you want to. And make sure you share this video so some of your friends who are not subscribed can go ahead and do so as well. And if you want to get a notification for every time I post a video, please hit that notification bell. So that it could be like dang, 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 dang during the week when I'm posting videos. Okay? So let's get into the video. All right. So today, as you can see in front of me, I have this t-shirt. Now, this shirt came from the Rainbow. It is a extra large. I feel like I could have got a 1X really in a shirt. It's a little tight. So that's the reason why I'm doing the style that I'm doing today. So these little sleeve parts, they hang off my shoulder. And like you put your arm through it and it hangs off your shoulder. And this front part is more of just like a crop top. And it just chills like a crop top. But it's pretty cute and it's pretty cool. So today I am doing this style today, which I am going to post right here. I am going to do something similar as that. Now, I know there are similar ways that you can do it. You can do it with string, shoestring. You can do it with, um, I've seen some people do it with clothespins. I didn't really like it with clothespins, but we're going to use what I got to do what I can do and see how good this comes out. So, to start off, some things that I have is my shirt and I have my marking tools. Um, I mean, marking tools, this is really just permanent marker to say the least it's just permanent marker um and a pen permanent marker and a pen and then i have a cutting knife which is going to help me to cut the um the shirt the way that i want to and I watched a couple videos about how to do this. So ahead of time, I kind of know how to do this from the videos that I watched. Whatever. A pair of scissors. I got these scissors when I went to the store because I need something that's a little bit more durable. And I had went to the store and bought white shoestrings. Thicker white shoestrings because um, for this one, I want it to look a little bit thicker. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to attempt to start to do this video. Now, I am not going to put, now, when I do this, I'm not going to stick the shirt on to try it on first. I am just going to mark on top of me and do it that way. Whatever. Hopefully, it comes out the right way, guys. So, first, what we're going to do is you're going to make sure that the part with the tag is to the back. And you're going to just line it up on you the way it would be if you had it on. And I'm going to take the permanent marker and I'm going to start to mark on me how I would want the shirt to look. Now, for the most part, I don't have a problem right now, but for the most part, I can feel that the, the areola area is right here. So what you want to do is you kind of want to cut right on that area so that when you pull, it'll pull your boobs together or your boobs up or whatever the case may be when you don't have a problem. So... I'm going to say about right here. So I'm going to stick my hand underneath the first layer of the shirt, hold where my boobs are, and mark. Two little marks. I'm going to mark right there. And right there. And then on this side, I'm going to mark two little marks. And I'm going to explain to you in a second what these two little marks mean.
right there. So on this shirt, I marked two different marks. The first mark is going to be my intro line where I'm first going to cut at just to cut the film off. And then my second one is going to be the second set of film that I cut off or cotton, uh, whatever you want to call it. It's not film. But the first mark, which is this one right here, I am cutting at first just to see how much leverage I have. And then when I cut the second one, that'll be exactly where I do want it to be cut at. So for the most part, I am all set and ready to go. But something that I do need to do is I'm going to put a cutting board underneath of the shirt. Now, I'm not a, um, I am not a clothing stylist, so I don't have the cutting board for clothes. So I'm just going to use a regular kitchen cutting board and we're going to go from there. So I got a regular kitchen cutting board and I'm going to stick it under the first layer of the shirt all the way to the top, just to make sure that the whole thing is covered. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead with my scissors and I'm gonna start from the bottom and I am going to cut along the line edges on the shirt and slowly come up the shirt up the line and we're going to cut all the way up to the top. Then we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the next side, but I'm gonna take the shirt and put it across the cutting board and hold it down, just so the shirt is a little bit more flatter than the way it was the first time. And I'm going ahead and I'm gonna to begin to start cutting. So this is the extra film that's left over that I'm not going to use. So we're just going to place this to the side and keep on going. I really just want a wiggle room in order for me to finish off this process. But since I know I do have wiggle room, I'm going to go ahead and cut off the rest of this film. I keep saying film, but... Those boots I'm thinking I do have but the, that's kind of small y'all but we're going we're going to figure this out
So now that the shirt is cut evenly on both sides, we're gonna go ahead with this again, and we're gonna start slicing. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this cutting board as a measuring tool. And I am going to slice holes in the front of the shirt in order for me to have holes to put the string through. So I'm about to go one, two, three, five in, four in. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring this one over. And we're going to measure up on this side the same ones we did on this side. So now that the shirt is all set up and put together with the holes, you're going to go ahead and you're going to start to assemble the string and you're going to want to make sure that the string is long enough and even enough. Now me personally, I want my string to go from the bottom to the top and I want the top of the strings to hang at the top. So I'm going to apply to start from the bottom. Now I'm going from the bottom, from the inside out as such. Now you could use hole closers, but I'm probably not gonna wear this outfit so many times. I just wanted to see how it was to make it. So don't get your panties in a bunch if I didn't use what I was supposed to use. I am not a clothing designer. I know there's things that I could have used, but I wanted to do this the way SEC. So I just went ahead and put the shoestring in it, the t-shirt, and I did tie it. As you can see, I didn't use hole closers, which afterwards I did realize that I should have used hole closers because the holes kind of stretched a little bit. But for the most part, I did like that outfit. I wore the outfit one time. Um, I didn't really like how my boobs was hanging out, but the shirt did come out the way I wanted it to. And you can stretch the string to make it tighter or looser, depending on how big or small your chest is. But for the most part, it was cute. So I'm going to go ahead and insert some pictures of what it looked like when I did wear it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll be back in better some other time. Bye.